1705FNA, allowing the purchase and use of marijuana by a dove, regulating the purchase and use of marijuana, imposing taxes on the wholesale and retail sale of marijuana. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm going to and thank you, honorable committee members. Um, the previous speaker said a lot of what I was going to say, but I wanted to focus in on the fact that Part 1, Article 18 of the New Hampshire Constitution, you know, where, where it says that all penalties ought to be proportioned to the nature of the offense, I wanted to point out that when punishment does not fit the crime, as it does not in our current laws regarding marijuana, it breeds disrespect for the law. So there's more at stake here than just, um, you know, whether or not we can have less than an ounce of marijuana. Uh, we also want to be concerned about whether or not the people are respecting the law. Also, um, Representative Jasper brought up the fact that this could be in conflict with federal law, but I just wanted to point out again that the bill says that if certain portions of this act are found to be inoperable or unconstitutional, it is the intent of the people of the state of New Hampshire to implement as much of the act as possible. So you, it is divisible. Also, uh, Representative Jasper said that marijuana really isn't a very important issue, and I beg to differ with him. Um, more and more studies are coming out, you know, showing that marijuana has significant medical benefits and even protective and immune boosting benefits and like I currently use herbs you know to try to maintain my immune system and if you know I wanted to use the essential oil from a marijuana plant it just does not seem right to me that our current laws as they are now they, they are telling me I cannot do that also, even though the, the federal uh, level has the ability to come into the state and try to um, counterdict what this would, law would do, doesn't mean that they will do that. Like Representative Lambert said that, you know, we're getting mixed messages from the federal government. Representative uh, Taro um, asked me to mention to you, because he couldn't come in and testify himself, that he saw on C-SPAN a few months ago a DEA agent who actually said we should decriminalize marijuana for two reasons. Number one, it would defund the drug cartels, because most of your drug cartels, 75% or more of their profits comes from the sale of marijuana. And the other thing that it would do is it would lower all the overall drug use, because right now with the way the laws are, people see their use of marijuana as a criminal activity. And so they think of themselves as criminals. And so they're not as, um, they don't have so much of a problem going on into other criminal activities, such as harder drugs. But if you break that connection and people stop seeing themselves as criminals for using a small amount of marijuana, then they no longer want to go on and, and do other criminal acts. So that was the testimony of the DEA agent. DEA agent. And um, all I want to say is that I think that HB 1705 is a well thought out bill that makes sense for New Hampshire. And I would appreciate it if you would support it with an ought to pass recommendation. Thank you. Any questions? Seeing none, thank you.